Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of Cigar Talk with Aaron and Dean. I'm Aaron. And I'm Dean. What do you got, Dean? What are you smoking today? Well, I got this Avo. I love this shape. It's a pyramid. Um, I, it's so pointy I could like use it as a weapon. But um, I love it. I love snipping off the end of the pyramids and, and getting smoke in here. Oh, yeah. I love that car. That's a beautiful cigar. Isn't that fun? Mine's an Ashton today. I picked the Ashton cabinet. And uh, it's a nice light smoke. So exciting when you light up a new cigar, isn't it? It's like, it's you're so best. excited to laugh. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, Aaron, where are we? This place is gorgeous. We're at SJR's Explorer's Lounge in Harrison, New York. This place, look at these leather chairs with studs and coffee tables. They got deer and bear and dinosaurs on the wall. This place is fantastic. They have one of the greatest humidors, too, for uh, New York. So, Aaron, there's one thing we got to talk about. All you guys out there, you see that subscribe button? right down there on the bottom. For the love of God, would you hit the subscribe button? You know how many people told me this week, well, I don't know, how much does it cost? Oh, the subscribe's like, got like, such a... Honestly, how much does it cost, you mook? Push that subscribe button. They think they're subscribing to HBO at $9. Right, there's month. no fee, it's, there's no magazine, no one's gonna bill your credit card, just hit the subscribe button. Just... But we need subscribers, without that we can't sustain. But we did get some pretty good feedback from the first one. Amazing feedback, I got I me. Mean, we had so many views for, for the first uh, episode. We had, you know, a bunch of likes. I thought it was easy. I talked to other friends that have podcasts, Chaz, Palminteri, this one, that one, and they're like, it's not easy to get no. subscribers and not easy to get likes. We got a couple of hilarious emails this week. Uh, should I read them? Yeah, what do you got? So, Anthony S. from East Chester, New York, wrote in, I'm not a smoker. However, you guys made me laugh my grandfather used to smoke, so the aroma brings back memories. Thanks, guys. Keep them coming. I get that a lot. People always, you know, my smoke this reminds me of my father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does this bother you? And the lady would be yeah. like, no, it doesn't bother me. It reminds me of my dad. You know, he used to smoke all the mm -hmm. time. You guys can email us in questions. I mean, email our emails right on the screen here. Uh, send in your email, send in your answer, send in your request. I mean, Anthony didn't ask for an answer, he just wanted to say something, which is kind. Love the kind words. This guy's hilarious. Bobby S. from Yonkers, New York. I'm a mechanic. Will you guys come and film an episode in my garage? <laughs> Are we going to blow up if I ash in the gas? Bobby, the there's petroleum products there. <laughs> We're smoking cigars. Come on, we'll blow the place up into the woods. But thanks for the invite. You never know. Could be fun. This one, Joe P. from Harrison, New York. Local guy. I own my own insurance agency. I want to smoke in my office without bothering anyone. Can you guys recommend a good smoke eater or ventilation system? Well, Dean, I'm not I, I, I can't, Joe, sorry. I can't because uh, I smoke in my recording studio and my wife lets me smoke in there for some reason. It's part of the house, but I bought this thing called a Rabbit Air. It's like a seven filter system. Seen it. It even has a filter for cigar smoke. And I put that up, and I smoke right underneath this thing. And when you come in the next morning, you don't even know I smoked. And my nice. wife would know. Yeah. My wife smells my clothes. She oh, tells yeah. me to oh, get yeah. out of bed. Yeah. This so thing it, eats so up all the smoke. What's it called? Rabbit Air. Rabbit Air. So Joe P., the insurance agent. Rabbit Air. Okay. You know, um, I wanted to tell you, you asked, for, you asked about my son, Dean. Yeah, how's he doing? Uh, you know what? He was working it's over great. at Tesla, right? Right. Uh, you know, he. my son is an enormous Elon Tusk uh, fan. Musk. He named Musk. Elon Musk. 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 Musk? Musk. Not Tusk? 100% Musk. All right, well, he likes that guy. He named his dog Elon. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, he's I mean, he's, he's, he's totally fan. enamored with, with, with uh, Tesla. He graduated during COVID, um, University of West Virginia, go Mountaineers, and he couldn't get a job. So I went to test drive a Tesla, Took him with me. He knew more about the car than the, car than the salesman. Jeez. So the guy said, apply. He goes, I did. He goes, apply again. He applied. Boom. He got the job. Oh, oh that's awesome. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Mount Kisco, New York. Uh, big time yeah, store. The Tesla number, dealership. Number there. two in the country. Um, How many delivered, cars they get rid of a day? Put it this way. New Year's Eve, they delivered almost 200 cars. Oh, my God. 
my son, I, w I pulled up and creeped on him. My wife and I were watching him across the street. He was running back and forth, putting plates on cars, running, getting cars. So you mean sold that many? No, they had sold them already, but the people came to pick them up that day. Delivered. You know, Tesla is something else. Guy, yeah, guy. So, Dean, it's a big day today. It's been 14 days since I've been vaccinated. That's cool. And it means I can go to a Yankee game. Yeah, I don't know if you want to go to see the Yankees right now. They're not. Oh, they're really? really? Oh, they're, they're terrible. The Mets are in first place. Oh, I, don't know. I know it's like a, it's like a bizarre I think I'd world. I'd rather go to the Yankee game than a Mets game, but I got that Johnson Johnson vaccine, and then a week later they took it off the market. I got the Moderna. All right. Yeah. We'll yeah. see who lives longer. We'll see which oh, one. Oh God! Uh, don't even think about that. <laughs> which one's gonna be I'm better? Just, I'm just glad I got it, and I, I feel better. My whole family got it, actually. My kids, my daughter got it. Um, my other two are, are like on the fence whether they want it or not. I'm, I'm pushing them to get it. Yeah. We all need to get it. Everyone needs to get back. I agree. I mean, just to go back to the way life used to be, like a, get content. It's as far as my industry goes, music industry, and I'm a songwriter. Normally, I'm in a room with people and we're writing songs together, and you work off each other's energy. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm logging onto Zoom. It's 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 crazy, right? Totally a whole different thing. Yeah. I mean, I haven't auditioned in person in over a year and a half. Everything's auditioned on Zoom. How can you? come across, get your personality across on Zoom. You know? Hey, Dean, with your acting, have you ever smoked a cigar with any celebrities? Oh, yeah. Plenty of times. Some with, some around, some that, oh, I, I got one. I got a good one. So I'm in a casino. I'm in Las Vegas. And um, it's late at night. I'm with my wife. We just want to play a little blackjack before we go up to the room. So, so I sit at the table and um, I light up a big fat cigar. And I'm playing cards. I look at the table across from me, and it's Michael Jordan. Oh my God. MJ. He's looking at me. Big cigar. Oh, enormous. He looks at me and he goes, You know, do, you got one for me. So I'm like, It's Michael Jordan, man. I already lit it, smoked it. I said, It's three in the morning. Like, I would have ran out to the car. I said, I was in Vegas. I said, MJ, I'll cut it in half for you, but it's the only one I got. He goes, Ah. And like this me, but um, hysterical. That's amazing. Yeah, see, that's that's the thing about cigar smoking. It brings people together. Oh, absolutely. That's you why know, I do it. Like, I mean, besides the camaraderie, there, besides the you know the camaraderie in a lounge or even in places like this, like it's something you have in common with something with someone. Complete strangers will you know feel comfortable talking to you or whatever knowing that the cigar is what it's about yeah and it's you know it's like the common denominator between you exactly. and each other i mean me and mj boom um, well, gambling and smoking cigars boom who's better than, i have my wife he had a doll with him uh, <laughs> who, who's better than us <laughs> we, I, you know I, I went by dean's the other day and of course he always has a cigar for me every time i pull up What's he doing? He's washing his car. I do that. I wash my cars. He's the only guy. I go to the car wash. I spend seventeen dollars per team. It's not even the money. It's therapeutic for me. Honestly, it is. When I come home from work on a weekend, I put my ear things in pods. Where's that from? Your dad? Was your dad always washing the car? Out no. The weekends? no. 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 Never. Car wash. Me. I, I wash my cars. Dean, out of all the cars you've owned in your life, what's been your favorite one that you wish you never got rid of? Uh, Shelby GT500 convertible. Uh, what year? 2007. Yeah, I bought it. Uh, Shelby American Club. I was so excited to get this car. They were only going to make 15,000. 7,000 the first year, 07, 8,000 the second year, and then they were going to demolish the, the, the uh, assembly line. Well, they did so well with them that they sold them in 08, 09, 010. They're still selling. So I ripped up my Shelby card and I sold my car. I got so mad. And what was your first car that you My first car was a 1964 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. I bought it off a priest in Yonkers <laughs> for $50. Wow. Yep. I saved up $1,000 and got a Pontiac Sunbird. A 1980 Pontiac Sunbird is yellow. Probably the ugliest car. But Sunbird, it should be yellow. But $1,000. Can you even buy a car today for $1,000? I bought mine for $50. Yeah, but that was, what, 1970? No, what are you talking about? It was in 19... <laughs> <laughs> no, it was in 19... Yeah, you're right. It was probably 19... <laughs> it was pro... I, was, I was too young to drive and have a license yet, but I bought the car and drove it. 
Yeah. You were excited. Yeah, yeah it's very I exciting. feel like kids today aren't even excited. They're like, yeah, I got my license. Well, I'll just still take an Uber. My daughter has a permit. She doesn't want to drive. And I don't want to push her, but I, I want to push her. Like, she just doesn't have a desire. Me, on my birthday, I was at the motor vehicle taking my permit. I know. Permit. It's like it was the biggest thing. I got so excited for it. Yeah, to drive. Different. Ashtrays, you know. And we're at SJR's Explorer's Lounge in Harrison, New York. And these guys have been great. This place is wonderful. And I'm going to stay here for the next couple of hours and just smoke it. The dream is over, guys. Please hit subscribe. And email us any questions. And remember, stay tuned for another compelling episode of Cigar Talk with Aaron and Dean. Peace out.